Hello, I'm Alice Williams. I am Carol Elizabeth Doyle. Hi, my name is Inga Murray. And I'm Craig Murray. And, and we're, we're looking, looking through, through the, the window. window. One of the things I really miss about St. Andrews is the people, of course, but I really miss the kids. Those kids that run down the, the sanctuary, down to their classes. Um, I really miss that energy and the vibrancy of the people of a faith community. I miss uh, being at the church uh, for the different groups I belong to, such as the uh, Bible study that's on Tuesdays, the coffee and conversations. I have many friends in that, of men and women. And I also have uh, missed being uh, at the Ladies' Afternoon Guild activities, my choir practices, and the mission team and being part of the um, Heritage Seniors and uh, playing with the band uh, with Heritage Seniors as well. Uh, so basically that is uh, what I've missed and the fellowship of others by worshiping in the church. Well, I think, I think just the spiritual support and just seeing friends. You know. So my life verse is Colossians 3 verse 12 and it's because we are chosen people, we are holy and God expects us to walk with compassion and love and kindness and humility and gentleness and patience and at this time I think we've all had to have a lot of patience. My favorite scripture was Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength. I like this one because God is going to strengthen me through the good and the bad times. My favorite hymn is, I feel the winds of God today, today my sail I lift. And I find that the words are very apt today because, you know, we are in uncertain times. And sort of the analogy I have that we're all sailing our own sailboats and we're all being buffeted by sea and wind. And sometimes our direction, we're not very certain where we're going. And I think that sort of sums up where we are in this pandemic storm. And talking about a favorite uh, worship song, at this time, um, Is He Worthy by Chris Tomlin um, really has some deep words that relate to this, this crisis that we're all dealing with and talks about a broken world, the creation that is groaning, but all the dark will not stop the light from getting through. Uh, I am the Lord of the dance, said he. Yes, I do feel it's stronger, yes. It's made me reflect because I think, you know, life, even, even when you're retired, life seems to be quite busy. And, uh, you know, it's given me time to really slow down and think about what's, what the most important things in my life are and my priorities. So through this time of this pandemic, I think it's really showed me a lot more about the backdrop that we live our lives. Um, so the backdrop that we live our lives is eternity. And, um, and it's not the urgency and the demands of this relentless world. Um, our backdrop is the rugged cross and the empty tomb. And that's what we try and remind ourselves of through this pandemic, is um, to really remember that backdrop that we live our lives through. That. Uh, the human spirit is very resilient and I think that and I know that God will through his help and guidance that we will get through this and I think in the final analysis we will come through this with a much better appreciation of the many blessings that we have in our own life and I would say to St Andrews just stay strong stay safe stay healthy and stay positive and Take care of yourselves and nurture each other. And so we have a weekly dinner group meeting on Zoom on a Friday night. Yeah. So you each make the same thing or you just make... No, no, we don't make any dinner. We oh, just, you, just you know, normally, yeah, we just have the wine. <laughs>